welcome to ET Garage. Today's video is going to be about the memory chip adapters. Okay, like I was saying, uh, today's video is going to be about the uh, OBD1 chip adapters, specifically. Uh, well, this specifically would be for a uh, this type of ECM that comes in the 90 Corvette. Um, same chip adapter, I believe, can be used in that same era of uh, Camaros and Firebirds. They use a different ECM. Their ECM was under the dash and is a silver box and uh, is not waterproof. Where the, starting in 90, they put the uh, computer in the inch compartment on the Corvettes in 1990 and uh, they came uh, weather packed and waterproof and have a waterproof cover right here where the uh, chip will go. So I'm just going to give a quick video of uh, the adapters and modified memcals and stuff like that. And if like I had a couple of people on my last video asking me if I could burn them a chip and all that and I don't want to get into that. It's, I'm not, a, I'm not a professional tuner, and I don't want to get into the business of mailing uh, chips back and forth. Most people just want things like their uh, VATS or their uh, security uh, disabled, or their uh, they limit or they delete their EGR or their air and all that stuff. And uh, I don't want to get into that. Uh, there's people out there that do it for a living I'll try find a couple and leave links if I can in the description box but basically just do a search for OBD1 uh, chip burning and uh, you should be able to find you know or OBD1 custom tune or anything like that and you should be able to find uh, people that do it they are getting more and more scarce because uh, OBD1 is pretty old and uh, quite frankly this stuff's getting to the point where you won't be able to uh, re replace or repair it anymore. It's just the uh, demand for the components aren't out there and uh, you'll have to just eventually, if you want to do custom tunes on your computer and your ECM on your car, you're going to, for an older car, you're just going to have to upgrade to an aftermarket ECU. So uh, let me get this camera turned around in a different area and uh, I'll get you some close up of these chip adapters and go over them. Okay, here we have all sorts of chips and adapters and stuff. Uh, first thing I'm gonna get into is a factory memcal. This is a factory memcal, I believe it's from a V6. Uh, normally there'll be a piece of shiny tape over that spot right there. And I'll pop that off and show you what's in there. Here you go. This, the factory memcal, gets erased with a UV burner. That's why they keep that piece of tape over that to keep from erasing that. That would be where your program that runs your motor uh, is in. And then to burn it, you need a special burner to burn that chip. This here is a burn two from Moats, which is out of business. You can get these from uh, Boosted NW. I'll leave a link in the description box of Boosted NW. I believe he has these or his own version of them. You have to go there and check. Check with him. And uh, these will not burn one of these type of chips. Uh, you do need a special burner for that. Here, I have one that's been modified with an erasable chip. Or a regular chip, just like a memory chip, or say a, a USB drive, you can almost think of it as. And uh, it's they removed that and they stuck one of these chips in there. You can buy these pre programmed like that. Uh, if I can remember the, the link to the guy, I, I'll leave it. You got to be careful when you get these because, like here, this is my factory one that I modified with a raceable chip. Uh, but inside here, the chip right here is gonna be different because this one's for a V6, this one's for a V8. And it, this contains 
this is basically your knock module and it's going to be different this may work it, like I've had it work and uh, on this one chip here I have that's modified that I got and this is also I believe for a V6 it's hard to say I don't I don't know them all so I couldn't tell you but uh, so it doesn't like the knock counts are going to be different or it won't work at all so just something to keep in mind now keep in mind this is all for like uh, my 90 Corvette so it's from that era and uh, I believe these same chip adapters will work on the uh, Firebirds and Camaros from that era too it's just the case is different if you're wondering how this goes in there you get this chip adapter you would plug your factory memcal on there so that you actually don't need to even do that if you don't want to run a knock sensor and the limp home mode and you would put it inside this case Oop, let me get it in there better like that it locks right in place it's very similar to a uh, a memory card and a home PC as far as locking this in and out now the bad thing is it's gonna have a little bit of rock to it so you might want to put some foam in there to steady it and the reason it rocks is because they cannot the people that manufacture these memory boards cannot get the exact same this piece of plastic right here I'm not sure what you want to refer to it as what's on here this is slightly wider and has these tabs on it so you could probably, you know, like I said, just add some foam under it, a piece of foam here or something like that, and keep it from rocking. With this type of adapter, you can get it with where the chip, the erasable chip, just presses in it, and you got to pull it out and pull it out uh, over and over again. That I don't like. You're better off getting with a zip socket. You throw a lever, it comes out. You put it in your burner, make sure it's in the right direction. A little tab there on the burn tube will face up and lock it in place. Burn your chip, take the chip out. Put it back in here. This, well, this is in here and throw the lever. What's nice about this is you just leave this adapter in there and then you just reach in there and throw that little lever. Uh, can be a little bit difficult to get to with your fat thumbs. Might have to use like a screwdriver or something. And then instead of removing the whole board, you just do that, burn another chip, put it in, lock it in place, you're set. Now if you have one of these modified memcals with the erasable chip soldered into it and you want to burn it you also need this adapter now this one here is from Moats. I'm not sure if Boosted NW has them or not I would think he does but like I said just go to the site and you just have to pop it on there make sure its pins are in the correct place make sure that's in the right place lock it in place burn it undo it and you got to pull this out, put it back into the case, into the uh, ECM. Every time you're doing that, you're, all those pins are going in and out of here, in and out of here, or in and out of here, and you actually end up wearing those pins out. And then your uh, memcal or your ECM, whichever part wore out on the pins, uh, aren't going to work right. So something to keep in mind when you do that. Um, I think I covered everything. These chips here, Boosted NW cells, you get yourself a couple of them and uh, mark them like an A and B, or in this case, I got two of them. So I got one with tape on it. I got the, that there. Uh, I could just burn one and uh, I could burn one, just pop the other one in and out 
or you can have two different uh, tunes or say you have one for a tune for street driving and one for when you go to the drag strip so you just swap them out when you get to the drag strip swap them back before you drive home uh, that's what makes that really nice as far as this ostrich, if you have an ostrich or an emulator, you're going to need something to plug it into. This is an emulator. It allows you to make real-time changes to the tune. And uh, this is made by Moats, which is no longer in business. I believe Boosted NW has these, or he has his version, and he's making a version of this. And that will plug directly into the board. With, you can't use it with a zip adapter. It needs to plug right into the board. And then you would pop that into your ECM, make your changes on the fly, and then when you get your tune just the way you want it, then you would burn a chip and put that in. Uh, I think I covered everything. Like uh, As far as the GM stuff goes, I believe other makes and manufacturers they have for the OBD1 they, uh, Boosted will have. You have to check with him. Some of those, you actually have to solder the adapter board in for the, uh, for the chip and all that stuff. And we'll use different ones. So check with him. All right, there you go about the chip adapters. And uh, like I was saying, if you get one of these uh, modified Memcals that has the erasable chip in it, uh, just uh, be careful that it has, check your knock counts, make sure that the knock uh, counter in it is correct, the uh, knock counter module, and um, all that good stuff and don't lose your factory memcal because that has the original factory tune and you want to retain that for the knock module the lip home, mo lip home mode even though with your engines modified that won't help you out at all but the knock sensor still will if you still run that so just to keep in mind to not lose that and uh, make a copy of it you can upload the factory tune from the factory memcal where is it right here onto your computer using the uh the burn two and you would just that works both ways you can burn a chip and you can take information off the chip so if somebody were to say send you a chip with a custom tune in it and you want to transfer it to your computer, you can just uh, put it in the burn to read it and save it to a file on your computer. That's about it. I uh, hope everybody has a great day and uh, God bless.